All right, Lord's Goal 14 here. In this video, we're going to finish the cube. Now, at this point, you're probably left with the dilemma thinking, how in God's name do I finish this thing? I'm so close. I mean, I'm only three pieces off, or sometimes every now and then you might be more than that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you two algorithms that will switch around your corners and your edges in sets of three. And if you do it correctly, eventually your two will be solved. There's interesting ways of learning this, but they're a little detailed and they're a little advanced. They're called PLLs. For example, if I just see this, I'll know just from looking at this that this is the algorithm I have to do. Done. But that's not what we're doing here. However, that, that was actually a case that you're going to learn now because we're just going to switch around our edges and our corners. So, to do this, you can have many different cases. But what we're looking for is either this edge, like a, a cycle of three. If you're lucky, you'll have one completely solved side. And then you'll just have three pieces out of place. So what you want to do, in this case, is have the one unsolved piece in your right hand, the solved side to your left, and you want to do this algorithm. R2, U, F, B prime. Now it looks a little different because it's going the same direction, but just take my word for it. B prime is going the same direction as F. R2, F prime, B, R2. Well, actually, U, R2. Wow, I botched that up. So let's do this algorithm again. Okay, so, R2, U, F, B prime. R2, F prime, B, U, R2. That solves it like that. Now, a different case that you might have is this case, where you just have, you know, corners messed up, but the edges are solved. Now, what you want to do is you want to have cycles of three. So you want to have, for example, these two have red on them. When you have a corner, three corner cycle that's easily distinguishable, you'll see that you have two of the same color on one side. When you have that, you want to hold it in your right hand side. If you don't, well, then it's okay, but it'll just take a couple more cycles. But basically, you're, you're, what you want to do is you're going to have one, two, three. This is how your corner switcher is going to go. It's going to switch this one with this one. This one's going to move over here, and this piece is going to come all the way over here. So what you want to do is you want to hold it so that your solved corner is in the bottom left. And you're going to do this, you keep doing this algorithm until you are, your whole cube is solved. R2, B2, R, F, R, I, B2, R, F prime, R. And that's also like that. Now, sometimes you'll have combinations of the two. For example, you'll have something like this. Now, this looks ugly looks really ugly in fact but think about it you've got these two and I know that it looks painful but you're gonna have to move those out of their solved place unless you know a complicated algorithm that will finish it for you but what you want to do is you want to line up one of your unsolved corners these two are solved and they're the same color so what you want to do is line up one of your unsolved corners so I'm gonna choose to line up this one having this one lined up I can do a corner switcher and it'll move these at corners back into place. So let me do that again. These two are right. These two are wrong. But what you want to do is line up one of your wrong ones. It can be this one here too. Take your pick. Line up one of them. Line up one of them. Have that solved corner in your bottom left and do the corner switcher. In this case, it's all did in one go. And now I have some edge switchers left. So, I mean, there's some complicated algorithms that'll do the whole thing for you. So, but here's the thing. That, I showed you two algorithms that using them, you should be able to solve the whole thing. The last most complicated thing that you can possibly have with your edges is a third algorithm. It's not really difficult and you don't really have to learn it because you can use just plain old edge switchers to finish it. But to do this, 
This is the last algorithm. I'll show you what it looks like. It looked like this. You can solve this using your good old edge switchers, but it'll take two of them. It's really inefficient. Very, very inefficient, in fact. In fact, there's an algorithm that's not really difficult that you can use to finish this up, and it goes like this. Now, the notation for this, the middle slice is m in a clockwise direction. So, looking at it, m in a clockwise direction goes like this. So the algorithm is m2 u m2 u2 m2 u m2. Solves that. So I'm going to do one more example of the PLL step. Um, let me think of a random PLL. Let's go with this one. Okay, so we're left with so we got this one. This one's actually a bit ugly because it looks so close, but it's not. So, what we're going to do is we're going to t these two edges are solved, but what we're going to do is we're going to just line up one of ours first. So we've got this one. So now we're going to do our good old edge switchers. And we're going to do it now. You can see that after I did that edge switcher, this is something that you're just going to have to learn a little bit by yourself. It, you're going to have to think just a little bit. Yeah, I know, it's a bit annoying, but you're going to have to think. These two are now correct after doing that. So I've taught you what to do when you have two correct ones. The one to the left of it, you line it up. Having lined this up, I can do an edge switcher now. You can do as many, you, you're going to have to do it as many times as it takes to solve the whole thing. Your corners are solved. In this case, you're just left with an edge switcher. Solve it like that. The last example that I'm going to do with an edge switcher involves some, an, an, like an example where you might have to do it more than once. So, sorry, I almost screwed up my algorithm there. All right, so. You might come across something like this. I'm not going to explain to you what exactly it is, but th you think that if I do the edge switcher, what? No, the whole thing's not going to get solved. It doesn't look right. Trust me. It's going to take a, at least two edge switchers, if not more. But trust me, with edge switchers, you will finish this. To finish this, just do the edge switcher in any way you want to. It doesn't really matter because they're all scrambled. So you can do them in any way, and, and one of the edges will definitely solve themselves. In this case, it happened to be the one facing me. Now that this has solved, myself, solved itself, you might have to do this more than once, depending on what color is here. But hold the solve set to your left. Do your R2, U, F, B, I, R2, F, I, B, U, R2. So it like that. So using that, you should be able to finish the whole thing. It's not difficult. I mean, if trust me, if I can do it, you guys can do it too. I only went to my first competition last week after trial, and eh, 29 second average would have been nice, but with a couple penalties because of my stupidity, I ended up getting a 31 second, um, 31 second average. Not bad though. I mean, my best time was like a 28 second solve, so it's all good. Um, so this is the end of my tutorial. Um, so yeah, uh, feel free to PM me or feel free to comment. Feel free to tell me what you think about this. If you have any questions, however, you can PM me. The algorithms will be in the video description, so if you feel like it, you can copy them into Word and print them for yourself. And then label them with whatever you want to label them with. Not that difficult of a concept. So, just tell me if you have any questions. PM me. Put up a video response if you need to. And tell me. And I'll do my best to help you fix your problem. Uh, thank you. This is Call 14 Please comment and subscribe. And I'm out.